Good day mga kamaters and mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Today is a great day para maging matsigasig, matatag, and matalino. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my channel para updated kayo sa mga video lessons ko in learning decimals. Today, our lesson is about addition and subtractions of decimals. Are you ready to learn? Let us continue. Let us take a look on this problem. Three pills have different capacities. The biggest pill can hold 6,200 liters of water. The bigger pill has a capacity of 372,000 liters while the small pill holds 2,914 10,000 liters. Find the total amount of water that can be stored in the pills. What operation are you going to use? Very good, we are going to use addition. Our equation will become 6200s plus 372,000s plus 2,914,10,000s. All we have to do is to write all the fractions vertically. Then, align the decimal points. Let us do that. 0 0.62. Next is this one. So, align 0. The decimal point is there. They are aligned. 3, 7, and 2. Next, 0. Decimal point, 2, 9, 1, and 4. Then, let us add. How are we going to add this one? Look, there is no number after this 2 and this 1. All you have to do is to place 0. Pwede tayo magdagdag ng 0. Okay, let us put 0 here. And let us put 0 here and here then we can proceed with addition 0 plus 0 plus 4 is 4 2 plus 1 is 3 2 plus 7 is 9 plus 9 18 regroup 1 6 7 plus 3 10 plus 2 is 12 then don't forget to align the decimal Point. Regroup 1 and our answer is 1 and 2,834, 10,000 liters of water. Remember, in adding decimals, all you have to do is to line up the decimal points. Then pad with zeros. Kapag walang katapat, just put zeros just like, just like what I did. Then, how about this one? We are going to change the whole number to decimal. Remember, tinuro ko na dati, ang decimal point ng lahat ng whole number ay nasa dulo. So, 51 will become 51 point. So, naka-align lahat ng decimal point natin. At kung walang katapat, we just pad or put zeros. Let us try this problem number 2. Mang Takyo has 5 hectares of land. He sold 2 and 725 10,000 hectares to his neighbor. How many hectares of land does he own now? What operation? That's right, subtraction. So we are going to subtract 5 minus 2 and 725 ten thousands equals n. Let us try to solve it. Our 5 is a whole number. Where is the decimal point of the whole number? Very good. After the numbers, so place the decimal point here. Then we are going to subtract 2. Remember to align the decimal point. Write this one 0, 7, 2, and 5. Then, what are we going to do next? 
Okay, that's right. We are going to put zeros. Then, let us subtract. 0 minus 5. Diyan, marami nagkakamali. That is cannot be. So, we are going to regroup. Regroup from 0. But still, 0 na siya. Di tayo pwede niya mag-regroup. We are going to regroup from 5. And this 5 will become 4. This 0 will become 10. And these 3 zeros will become... Very good. This will become 9, 9, and 9. Good job, kids. Then proceed with subtraction. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 7 is 2. 9 minus 0 is 9. And don't forget, align the decimal point. And 4 minus 2 is 2. So, our answer is 2 and 9,275, 10,000 hectares of land were left. Okay. Next. To find the difference, the first thing that we are going to do is to line up the decimal points. Add trailing zero, sayang kapag walang mga katapat. As placeholders. Subtract and drop down the decimal point. As you can see, ang decimal point ay pantay-pantay. Let us try this. What is the sum of 4 and 15 hundreds and 3 and 564 thousands? The first thing that we are going to do is to write the decimals vertically, aligning the decimal point. So 4 and 15 then 3, align the decimal point. Don't forget to align the decimal point. 5, 6, and 4. Then we are going to, what is sum? Yes, plus. Remember to put zeros. Ayan, annex zeros. Then let us go with addition. 0 plus 4 is 4. 5 plus 6, 11. Regroup 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, plus 5 is 7. And don't forget, bring down the decimal point. Then, 4 plus 3 is 7. So, our answer is 7 and 714 thousands. Good job, mga kamaters! One more. Subtract 36 and 576 thousands from 75. What will be our minuend here? Okay, that's right. 75 will become our minuend. And where is the decimal point? Very good. After 5. Then let us subtract this one. 36 and 5, 7, and 6. What are we going to do next? Okay, good job. We are going to annex 0, 0. 0 and 0. Then next, let us subtract. 0 minus 6. Cannot be. So let us regroup. Regroup from 5. 5 will become 4. The first 0 will become 10. The second 0 will become 9. And the third 0 will become 9. Then subtract. 10 minus 6, 4. 9 minus 2, 7. Ah, 9 minus 7, 2. 9 minus 5, 4. Very good. Then, remember to drop down the decimal point. Okay, next. 4 minus 6. Cannot be because 6 is bigger than 4. So, what are we going to do? Yes, regroup from 7. 7 will become 6. And this 4 will become 14. 14 minus 6 is 8. And 6 minus 3 is 3. Our answer is 38 and 424,000. Good job, kids! Remember, in adding or subtracting decimals, the first thing that we are going to do 
is to write the decimal so that decimal points line up vertically. Next, add or subtract as for whole numbers. And the last, place the decimal point in the sum or difference so that it lines up vertically with the decimal points in the problem. Remember mga kamaters, that is the rule in adding and subtracting decimal. Let us apply your skills. Altea spent 24 pesos and 85 centavos for sandwiches and 11 pesos and 20 centavos for juice. How much change did she receive if he gave the vendor 100 pesos? Remember kids, always eat nutritious foods like sandwiches and natural juices to in to boost your immune system. Then let us apply by solving this problem. What operation are we going to use? Very good. Addition and subtraction. The equation will become 100 minus the sum of 24.85 plus yung juice natin na 11 and 20. That is equals to N. Very good. The first operation we are going to do is addition. Let us add the price of sandwich and juice. 24 pesos and 85 centavos plus 11 pesos and 20 centavos. Kids, don't forget to align the decimal point. So let us add. 5 plus 0 is 5. 8 plus 2 is 10. Regroup 1. 1 plus 4 plus 1 is 6. 2 plus 1 is 3. And don't forget to drop down the decimal point. So the answer is 36 pesos and 5 centavos. That is only the price of sandwich and juice. Then you gave 100 pesos to the vendor. Or Altea gave 100 pesos. So let us subtract 36 pesos and 5 centavos. To 100 pesos. Again, where is the decimal point of 100? Right after the number. Then annex zeros. And let us subtract. 0 minus 5 cannot be. So regroup again from 1. And 1 will become 0. This 0 will become 10. And this is 9. This is 9, and this is 9. Okay, let us subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5. Very good. 9 minus 0 is 9. Decimal point. And 9 minus 3 is... Uh, 9 minus 6 is 3. And 9 minus 3 is 6. So, how much is the change? 63 pesos and 95 centavos. I hope na nakuha nyo ang ating lesson in adding and subtracting decimals. That's all for today. Goodbye mga kamaters, ang mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. See you again on my next video. Bye, keep safe, and have a blessed day.